you are a star i mean you are there's no arguing with me about this you are in this video we're going to look at the life cycle of a star and i'll explain to you how you are made of stardust now if you want your stardust to shine extra extra bright tuition kit can help you do that by allowing you to schedule in all of your revision into a timetable that fits around you and gets you ready in time for your exam Here we have the life cycle of a star. Now all stars will start out in this stellar nebula, which is a cloud of dust and gas. This cloud of dust and gas will be swirling around, swirling around, and slowly all of the parts of dust and gas will start to come together. They will start to come together and they will form a star. This star is a main sequence star. Inside a main sequence star, we have lots of things going on. Nuclear fusion is going to be fusing together small nuclei so that they can be larger nuclei. And this is going to be producing light and heat as energy as it happens. Our sun is actually a rather small star. And it is the size of the star that determines what happens next. For the sun, the star that is on the smaller side, once um, all of the elements, once all the atoms inside have fused together and no more nuclear fusion can take place, it is going to turn into a red giant. Then it is going to turn into, slowly burning out, a white dwarf and a black dwarf. This will happen because the main sequence star, everything inside it is balanced. The nuclear fusion, the energy being released, the gravity needed to keep it all together. The forces are balanced. And when the forces become unbalanced, that is when we will see the star starting to decay. If it is a massive star, it will turn into a red supergiant. It will undergo supernova and then it will either become a black hole or it will become a neutron star. This supernova will release a cloud of dust and gas, that will be our stellar nebula, and then it can go on to form another star. Generally that star is going to be smaller, and this is the circumstances under which our sun was formed. So many millions of years ago we had a massive star, which was a main sequence star. At the end of its life it turned into a red supergiant and underwent supernova. The debris from the supernova, the cloud of dust and gas, restarted the lifestyle again. And within this stellar nebula up here, our sun was formed. And everything in our solar system was formed as well from this stellar nebula. Which means you were formed, or the elements that make you were formed at the same time. So everything within you used to be part of a star. You are literally made of star stuff. So we know that our sun is a second generation star. And we know this due to the presence of heavy elements. Things like iron, the really, really heavy ones that are found within a star, but would have taken much longer than a single lifetime to be created. <laughs> 